And here's a strange thing. Life is short, but buildings can go on forever. Mm -hmm. And I want to come back to that particular issue. You're in the business of building tomorrow, quite literally. There are all kinds of projects and institutions that you're involved in that will long outlive you, perhaps. Life is short. It's an emotional ride. And the future will be built on emotion. The future will not be built on technology, fashions, fads, geeks, and other things. The future will be built on emotion. It's emotional reactions to events that determine the future. Let me give you an example. Uh, September 11, the emotional reaction to a terror event affected the future of America. The number of people that died in that attack was absolutely tiny in relation to American history, number one. Number two, the subprime crisis right now is an emotional overreaction to a relatively insignificant process. Don't get me wrong. If you're losing your home, it's really significant. But in the global cosmos, there's a reaction which is happening, which is way far beyond uh, the, the significance of the actual event itself. And we can see it in all kinds of other areas, too. The future is shaped by emotion. And uh, let's have a think about where those emotions are going. Well, the emotions will be driven by the next generation, this generation of one billion people who are on your doorstep in India, China, uh, other parts of Asia, Southeast Asia, and parts of Africa, too. These one billion children, all of whom will be adults within the next 15 years, 16 years. It's an astonishing fact we have never seen such growth. And of course, with growth, we're finding uh, urbanization happening at the very same time. Even in an aging society like China, we're seeing urbanization on a breathtaking scale. We will see, as you know, some 300 million people moving into cities, 300 million more people move into cities in China uh, with government-backed uh, programs to help them to do that uh, just over the next 12 years. Uh, in, in Africa, we will see 743 million adults and children move into cities within the next 20 years. 743 million people. All of them will be looking for infrastructure. All of them will be driving pressures on price for land. All of them will create demand for centralized services. You'll see towers going up, and you see this massive construction boom, which we'll come back to. And all of that raises the biggest issue of all in your industry, which is sustainability. And if there's one big story downstairs, it's this one word. Where is it going, and is it fixable? I happen to think that it is fixable and that you are right in the middle of a really good news story about sustainability. Now, what is it about? You know what it's about. It's about this crazy graph, which fortunately is leveling off, or uh, we'd all run out of everything, but it's not going to level, for, level off for quite a while, and we're a long way off at the moment at the peak uh, of, of population. But the most important thing is not the population itself. It's what the life expectancy is going to be of those people in the future, but not just that. It's a question of what their aspirations are. Remember, the future is about emotion. Emotion, what is it about? It's about seeing someone else's lifestyle on CNN and looking at your own on $2 a day. You don't own the TV. You caught a glimpse of CNN in the bar as you walk by in the street. And that's the reality in China for the very poorest of the poor in India. Uh, for, it's a reality for 4 billion people on the face of this earth that they love what you got. And they want it, and they will have it. Now, uh, they may have it through a car which is made uh, for only $2,000 by Tata uh, today. Remember, that's today. What about tomorrow? Uh, they may have it in, uh, with all kinds of other aspirational products. And with that will come a massive pressure in terms of resources.